originally came up with the idea for making a small car for the people, he wanted an economy car that got great mileage. This would have been about in the late 30s when he decided to make this vehicle. Most of my crew have been with me for probably 10-15 uh, years and uh, it's kind of hard to find somebody that's uh, real experienced in the Volkswagen trade. Everyone employees have a different area they're good at so we try to keep each person focusing on the area they're good at and uh, so we try to keep everybody working as a team together as a, a family that uh, can be a good working atmosphere. Originally I came to San Bernardino in 72. And uh, I came here for to visit some friends and for vacation in December. And I was uh, totally ecstatic with the fact that it wasn't raining, which it does every day in Seattle for months at a time. So I came up here and decided I was going to go to school here. I started going to school, um, actually at Valley College, but I soon realized that I couldn't go to school and uh, I had no money, so I had to start working. So I worked out of my house for quite a while. I, did, I had a few car clubs we worked with and I built car engines for them. And, worked on cars and uh, gradually got more and more busy to where I uh, decided to open up a small uh, repair shop. It was kind of hard. I rented a place on Highland Avenue for a while. It, was, it ended up being, uh, we kind of grew out of it. It was too small. And I looked quite a while to find a place that was a you know, large enough building and uh, got lucky to find this place in, in central San Bernardino, you know, uh, 431 West 10th. And uh, it seemed like a, it's a real good location, plenty of space, good sized building and uh, it worked out really good. So originally the name was kind of a unique name. It, um, the first building I, I rented, I didn't really have a, had a business name, and then we, uh, it was kind of a barn-shaped building, so we call it Blodgett's Bug Barn. So, and uh, the little logo we made, we drew up, was kind of a little cartoon logo. Uh, I still use that today. So it was uh, me and my wife and the kids, uh, my uh, uh, sister's children stuff kind of drew it all up. And, Ended up being our, our same logo as it is today, so. We've been in uh, several different magazines. Used to be in the early days in the, when the Buggins used to race us long course and road courses. And the early uh, Buggins, we took several first place in the uh, slalom courses. Two or three different magazines ran articles on my cars back then. Over the years, we've had cars we've restored that have been uh, first place trophy winners, and they've uh, been uh, run feature ads on, the, on their cars also. So we do touch base to the magazines. We have a car we're working on now that uh, we're going to probably be doing an article on when we get it finished up. Yeah, carpenters is one of our specialties of the shop, and it's something I've been uh, getting involved in over the years. And uh, the, especially the dual carburetors, dual Weber's, or dual Lordos, we rebuild them. We, uh, you know, it's, it's, we sell the linkage, the components for them. We, um, it's a very technical to, to make carburetors work properly. You have to synchronize the carburetors and synchronize the linkage. And it's crucial that two components work together to make the vehicle run properly. We do uh, Zenith carburetors, which is early Porsche 356 carburetor. Pretty rare carburetor. I, I have quite a few components for those. I carry Venturi's and Jets, and not many people uh, understand those carburetors. Uh, I've been doing them for 40 years. I've got them uh, to a T. Uh, 
I uh, understand their Webers. We do really good uh, jobs with the Webers for balancing them, synchronizing them, and getting those cars running properly. My son is, uh, kind of uh, runs a shop now as, as a basic general manager. He handles all the uh, people coming in and out, customer relations, and he does a real good job. Here at Blodgett's, we like to do everything we can to help our customers. We like to make them feel welcome. We have a great team ready to help with anything that any question customers might have. We do whatever we can to take care of our customers' vehicle. If you come in for a specific problem like a clutch not working properly, we'll diagnose it. If we see it needs a clutch, we'll pull out the engine and check it. While we're doing that, we'll check all of your motor mounts, any other related item to the job. We'll let you know what it'll need. If it doesn't need anything else, we'll tell you. We'll put it back together, we'll test drive it, make sure it works right, and we'll give it back to you. We want you to be able to come back to us happy. We want you to feel like a family. We uh, try to work with our customers. We come in and some of them are on a pretty tight budget, so we try to feel them out and try to work with them too. Uh, money's tight and uh, it's important for people to get a good quality job without spending a fortune on it. So we try to offer a good quality product, good parts, and reasonable prices. The first time I met uh, the guys at Blodgett's uh, Bug Barn was when I had a 65 bug and I needed a front end alignment. And I brought it in and uh, they, they took care of it. I mean, in a matter of a, a couple of hours, I was in and out of here. Uh, awesome work. Um, very good, honest people. Uh, never even thought twice about bringing, uh, not bringing my single cab here. Uh, after that, I just became a personal friend now. Bought it for my best buddy from high school, sat in his backyard for 21 years. No motor, no keys, no engine, no deck lid, no bumpers. And there it is. It's just, you know, it's 200 bucks, you can't beat it. I like the Volkswagen industry because the cars are unique. They're not the same thing that are out there on the roads all over the place that you see every day. They just stand out. The cars really stand out. And you see the people driving them and you kind of look and you kind of smile. And it's, uh, it's nice. It's a good feeling to see these cars after over 50 years still being on the road. Uh, a lot more than a lot of the old, other older vehicles that are out on the road. Volkswagens are just a really fun car to be in. They get a lot of attention. They're not too costly. They're actually pretty economic when it comes to the, the repairs on these vehicles. We can get basically anything that you need for your vehicle, from carburation to motors, transmissions, pulleys, brake systems, wheels, body parts. We carry fenders, hoods, deck lids, interior, Pretty much all of the hard to find parts that you would need for your vehicle, whether it be a fastback, squareback, a bug, notchback, or bus, we've got basically everything here, and whatever we don't, we can get real fast. We do, um, we lower the vehicles, we put dro drop spindles on them, we do complete tune up engine, we do transmission exchanges, the new maintenance is on the new uh, Jettas. Anything as far as a braking system, VWs, bugs, and uh, Turrics, and all the new Volkswagen we've got all the service on there too. Yeah, a lot of people come in on uh, normal uh, maintenance schedules to get that taken care of also. We actually sell a pretty nice line of wheels and tires, uh, several accessories. I believe that our customers give us our feedback because of the loyalty that they have to us. One thing we don't do is advertise. So our customer's word is what brings in our business. It's what kept us here for over 40 years. And by their word of mouth and passing us on to their friends, to other people that they know with Volkswagens, with Porsches, uh, with Nissans, Toyotas, any of the foreign cars that we work on, that's what's ultimately keeping us here. Not tons of advertisement in magazines or you know, on the radio or anything like that. It's just uh, people's word of mouth. I think the most important thing for me to uh, accomplish here is 
um, I like to feel that uh, people uh, feel comfortable coming here and uh, can really trust uh, our work and our judgment and uh, it's important to me and uh, most of all they, they uh, when the car is finished they get a good quality job and a good job for their money that's probably the most important thing to me.